Hey guys, Demetrius here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a request that I had from many people after I created a video on how to add custom domains to your Notion web pages. I'm going to link that video in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, many people found that video useful uh, and I had many requests on how to attach a custom subdomain to a Notion page instead of just a custom domain. So this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So once again, for this tutorial, you're going to need a domain, a Cloudflare account, cloudflare.com, and you will also need fruitionsite.com, which is a beautiful site we use to generate a script that connects with Cloudflare and makes the whole process possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into my domain register, which is um, namecheap.com. As you can see, I have my domain right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Cloudflare and I'm actually going to add a new site right here, or, not, or in other words, a new domain, because I already have one. So uh, this one is going to be called DemetriusTest.xyz. And um, I'm going to click on Add Site here. And now what I'm going to do is select the free plan here. That's all we need to make this work. And then this is going to scan our DNS records. The idea is that we want to uh, move the domain from Namecheap to Cloudflare DNS. So as you can see right here, we have some uh, DNS records. So uh, it has detected the domain. And here it gives us the name servers that we need to attach to our um, Namecheap account right here on the name service option. Uh, in order to transfer the domain over to, no, in, in order to transfer the DNS over to uh, Cloudflare. So we just do that and wait a few seconds. And now this is going to take, usually takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to have to, okay, before we, we, we have to wait a little bit, I'm actually going to select flexible here for the SSL. Uh, I'm going to select always use HTTPS. And I'm also going to select the auto minify options. And that's it. So now I'm going to click done. And here's where we have to wait a little bit. So I'm going to recheck. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit of time, I'm going to pause the video and come back when the site is ready. So as you can see, guys, the site is now ready. Uh, I'm going to go to DNS here and I'm actually going to delete all these records. We don't need them because these are MX records. So I'm going to delete all these. You don't have to if you don't want to. If, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, don't delete your MX records, uh, especially if you have your domain pointing to another service or if you're using it for different things. Keep the, the, the DNS records as they are. Uh, but then you want to add an A record. So this is a record of A type. Um, and then the name is going to be the name you want uh, your subdomain to have, right? So uh, in this case, I'm going to have test.dimitristest.xyz. So the name is going to be test, right? That's the name of the subdomain. And then the, um, the IPv4 address is going to be 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Right, and the proxy status is going to be proxied. This is what you need to, to add. This is the record you want to add in order to configure a subdomain uh, to point to the to your Notion web page. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the workers page right here, and the worker is basically what uh, is going to run the Fruition script, and it's going to allow us to um, to to point the user to the Notion web page when they visit our domain. That's what the worker does. That's what Cloudflare does. So um, I'm going to go to manage workers here to view all my workers. And I already have two workers because uh, one of them I actually used for um, the other tutorial I did in the past, which was um, this domain right here, Dimitris Tutorials XYZ. Let's see if this works. Dimitris Tutorials. Uh, this is the one I, I made like a restaurant site, I think with this. Yeah. It's still live, everything works perfectly. Uh, so that's where this worker is pointing to. And this is another one I did, I don't remember for what, it was just a test. But uh, what I want to do now is actually create a new worker. 
and this is where we're going to be pasting the new script we're going to generate um, uh, for for the new uh, uh, notion web page we want to point our subdomain to um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to click on save and deploy just to generate this worker this is not going to be the actual script I'm just going to generate it um, and as you can see this worker is called uh, curly uh, dash term dash 95f2 but I'm actually gonna rename this let's rename it to uh, it can be anything you want so I'm just gonna rename it subdomain tutorial you know uh, dash tutorial this can it, this doesn't matter it can be anything you want it's just for your own reference um, so I'm now I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back to workers and as you can see we now have a new worker right here and now the, our goal is to basically point our subdomain to this worker and then inside this worker we're later on going to add the fruition script which is going to allow us to load the the notion page um, so now what i want to do is actually go back to the cloudflare main page right here i'm going to select my domain again and i'm going to go to workers so this main page right here. And now the next thing I want to do is add a root, right? So this is what's going to um, allow Cloudflare to point whoever visits our subdomain to the worker we just created. So what we're going to do is create a root. And on this root, we're going to say we're going to add the subdomain. So test.dimitris.test.xyz. That's the subdomain we have. And then that's going to point to subdomain tutorial, which is the worker we just created. And we're going to click save. Uh, actually, no, I forgot something. So I'm going to go here and edit. And at the end, I need to add forward slash asterisk, uh, asterisk, just like that. So what this means is that even if the user uh, goes to, uh, for example, test.dimitris test.xyz forward slash uh, home or forward slash whatever, you know, so anything after this subdomain, it's still going to redirect to the worker, right? That's, that's what this means. Um, so I'm going to click save. And now I'm going to go to manage workers, select my worker, go to quick edit. This is the script of the worker. I'm going to delete all this and this is where we're going to paste our new script. So now I'm going to go to Fruition. So this is fruitionsite.com, fantastic website. Uh, and I'm going to scroll down to step two right here. This is where we, we, we customize and generate our script. So here, what you need to do is, is type your subdomain, right? This is important. Don't type your domain, type your subdomain. So it's going to be test.dimitris test dot x y z that's my subdomain and then the notion url i actually have a notion page right here so i'm going to go to share i'm going to make it public share to web and i'm going to copy the the link of the page so copy link and i'm going to paste it right there this is where i want my subdomain to redirect to right um i'm not going to add any pretty links we don't need that we're not building a full site or anything uh, and then I'm just going to copy the code. Uh, so the, the, the code is now copied. So I'm going to go back to Cloudflare and I'm going to paste my code right there. Just like that. So as you can see now, the domain is my subdomain right there. So I'm going to click Save and Deploy. And that should be it, actually. I'm going to get a few seconds so it's everything gets propagated and then I'm going to go to a new window here and go to test.dimitristest.xyz let's hope this works and it looks like it's working perfect there we have it so that's how you um, uh, create a notion website and then attach a, a subdomain to it so yeah guys i really hope you found this video useful please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it um and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one uh that i have coming out soon so uh with that being said i'm gonna see you on the next one